Hello everyone and welcome to the start of a new Planet Coaster series. So in this series we're working on top of a park that I've already built. Um, I made a video previously about this park and I showed you each area. So this is going to be a small area in the park with a few rides. So it will be highly themed and I'm going for a Viking theme. So I'm going to have a port and then that will interact with the few rides there. So you'll see some of the rides that I build later. So anyway, for the area, the name I've decided to call it is Port of Asgard. So that's sort of a Viking styled name and some of you might notice Asgard as that is from the uh, Marvel, that is from the Avengers. So I'm not a massive fan of Marvel. Well, I, I do like it, but I don't know everything about it. But uh, yeah, this isn't meant to link to Marvel in any way, but it might ring a bell for some of you. Anyway, on to what I'm building. So I'm digging out a hole and this is going to be what you call a port. And then you see walls going in around and yeah, the path goes around the port. And then I will have two rides. So one of the rides, as you might have seen in the thumbnail, is a launch coaster. I built a launch coaster at Alton Towers in my last series if you want to check that out. But it will be an Intamin Blitz coaster. The last one I built was a Mac launch coaster. But this is an Intamin, so it'll be like Taran. So yeah, it's gonna have quite a terrain, quite an interactive layout. And there you see me digging down a bit more and you'll see what that is for later on. So the second ride I'm building is a boat ride. I think it's the same type as uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland Paris and I think it's similar to uh, it's, uh, Fata Morgana, that's what it's called, at Efteling. So it's like a boat ride, not particularly thrilling, but quite a long, quite a highly themed experience and just something to add to the area, make people queue up for it if they don't want to do the thrill ride, which will be the launch coaster. So I've not got any names for the rides yet and it will be cool if you could think of some suggestions for the names. So anyway, in this video you will start to see me build each ride, just the start of it, so I don't get it into any massive stuff with each ride, but you can kind of see where I'm heading. And what I'm building now is sort of a facade for the backdrop for the area. I want it to be like quite big, quite industrial, so it's just massive houses, like terraced houses sort of at the, at the port, like at the bay and then you can see the body of water in front of it. So these don't have to be that detailed because these are the backdrop, so the guests wouldn't be standing very close to them. So you see me putting in some wooden beams, just trying to make it look nice, but not like over the top since this is going to be far away from the path because you saw me putting the path in before and that is pretty far away from where these buildings are. So in a minute, pretty soon you will see me duplicate this there you go and hang on yeah delete this again because I just thought I needed to put a window there. that's what you do with this you go back change it if you don't like it and I decided to sort of make this one a bit bigger than the other ones because people will see this if they look right after walking into the area uh, I don't do this for the other ones but I don't want it to look like it's just a facade I don't want to make it obvious but Honestly, they do do these at theme parks and you don't know them. You think there's a massive town or a massive building behind it, but it's literally just the front. So sorry if I just spoiled that for anyone, but yeah, there you go. So now you can see me building some different style building. This is not this is different to the facade. It's got a back and then you see these walls going in down there. And this is a tunnel and the Intamin Blitz coaster will launch out of that and a bit more about that coaster so it's sort of inspired from Taran and you heard me you might have heard me say that before in this video but Taran is a really good coaster a world-class coaster at Fantasialand which is in Germany and I believe it's just south of Cologne so yeah Fantasialand looks like an epic park and I really want to go there one day. The area that Taran is in is called Plugheim it's got a, another smaller coaster called Reich and that's a family coaster, so I guess I'm sort of copying off that, and yeah, maybe I've thought about that a bit too much because I think Klugheim is sort of a Viking theme as well. I'm not really sure what it's meant to be, but it's like a medieval 
sort of old gloomy area if you get what I mean and that park's got lots of other areas it's got an Africa themed area with a inverted coaster so that's similar to Nemesis at Alton Towers if you know that ride and yeah that looks like a really good coaster and it's got like an African theme sort of in and out of the jungle and that's got a very terrain based layout and yeah you see how this launches over the water so you're thinking oh well this won't have a terrain based layout but believe me it will so I'm gonna have sort of a row of buildings going all the way around the port and then this ride will turn over the lake over the port and go up through a building and over the buildings and then there'll be sort of a more natural area behind it and uh, in the last series I made which was another launch coaster I had sort of a big waterfall at the back and I th think I sort of want to do that for this as well I just think it looks really cool like having the rides go up near a cliff and yeah I guess Taryn does that a bit as well so I'm trying to relate to Taryn because that's just looks like such an amazing coaster and I want this to be good as well. So in this tunnel I'm building here this will be all closed off and it'll hopefully be quite dark. I think I need to put some terrain around it so that this, it blocks out the sun uh, because I think buildings don't really stop the sunlight and in here you see a delay and I might do some kind of pre-show. I've not really done a pre-show on a ride so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out i don't know if i will do one i'll see how it goes but there you see me putting a terrain around it trying to cover it up make it darker in this in in the middle inside the building and yeah that's what's going on there so just if you're wondering why am i doing that but that's why and then here i'm starting to build the track and i'm using the four meter method which you then smooth off but here i'm putting in some wooden planks sort of it's a bit of a head chopper I guess, I'm not really sure what I was going for here looking back on it uh, but it sort of bends with the banking as you'll see later. It's quite hard to explain what this is really, honestly I'm not too sure what it is. Um, yeah I, I don't know, I just thought it looked good how the train turns and then you'll see how I rotate these and it gets close to the train but doesn't hit it and that's what makes rides more exciting because they've got what you call head choppers, something really close to the track and it looks like you're going to hit it but you don't. Uh, a really good head chopper that I've been on is Gold Rush at Slaghar in the Netherlands and basically that launches back and forth through the station in order to get speed and when it goes back through the station uh, you can put your hands up and it feels like you're going to hit them on the roof of the station, it's very close and yeah you get a weird sensation if you do put your hands up there and now you see me building the track so this is an Intamin Blitz coaster therefore it's the same model as Maverick at Cedar Point in USA that's in Ohio and then this goes up into an airtime hill and you'll see that this airtime hill sort of interacts with the boat ride and I've not built the boat ride yet but I will start to build it now so this building comes out into the bay and then I'll start to build up but yeah this is the boat ride so the station is on there and yeah like I said this boat ride is the same model as um, Indiana, no, not Indiana Jones, same as Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland Paris and yeah that, that's a really good coaster it's got some pretty good theming and to be honest that's a similar ride to um, Fata Morgana which I talked about that's at Efteling in the Netherlands and yeah I went there this summer so you can go and check out a vlog. So here I'm sort of just ch testing what it can do because I've not used this before in the game. Uh, obviously I changed this a lot, I wanted to have it have it have a lift hill sort of some, maybe near the ride and yeah you'll see I take quite a long time to work out the angle that this needs to go at because it's a quite a non-thrilling ride so it's not expecting to have a steep lift and yeah I think I finally get it there, oh, no maybe I don't, yeah here I do so now you see me building up in this building and this is sort of like a big landmark maybe a lighthouse sort of thing like a big thing sticking out in the middle because I didn't want it to just be a port I want it to have a bit of a difference so yeah and then I'm building around there making a bit of close like some interaction with each of the rides and the building so yeah, that's what's going on there. 
So this obviously looks far from complete, it doesn't look very good in my opinion at the moment but hopefully I'll be able to do a lot more work on it and decorate it so that it looks a lot better because I need to add some windows, make some like balconies or something, make it look a viking theme because if I'm going for a viking theme here this has to be viking themed or it's not really going to do a very good job is it? So building the exit and entrance to this ride was absolute hell. Uh, I'm working in quite a tight space so this is probably going to give you epilepsy all of these tight quick changes like look at them stairs going down through there it's definitely not wheelchair friendly that's all I'm going to say but yeah it took a while to get this exit sorted as you'll see so yeah it's quite a tight thing I didn't expect it to be this tight when I made it but there you go that's what it is so I'm putting some flooring in this this was pretty difficult actually just because of how tight it is it's hard to move the camera and get the pieces in the right places that you want them to be so yeah I'm putting some walls and uh, floors in there it doesn't look very realistic to run this inside but because it is inside I'm not going to bother about it that much you won't see it because it's inside that's simply it like the guests will be able to get in but that's it so now you'll see me trying to get the exit, it says it was obstructed, I don't know why it did but in the end I had to move the exit for it to work so you'll see that I do move the exit so I can get the path in the right place but anyway that's almost the end of the video, I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching obviously none of this is complete at all, I've got a lot more work to do and I expect this to be a longer series than the Alton Towers series I did uh, that was only two episodes plus a cinematic video but I think I'll be doing a lot more in this series so thank you for watching and do you know what I'm going to say I'll see you next time goodbye